Hey guys and welcome to Rain Tech. Today I will show you an easy way to spawn parts. Let's do it. First we will create an object to spawn parts onto, you can't place parts on nothing or on the ground. I chose a store. Adjust the X and Y dimension attributes to 1. Now our store will hold only one object. Next we duplicate a part and a container. Always duplicate the objects you use and make them user objects. This way if you mess up something you have a default object to go to. Rename the container as you please and make it an animatable object. Exchange graphics of the container to a box 800 by 600. There are many graphics you can use or you can even create your own. Feel free to explore. Make the part more visible by activating the material. Always remember to test. Fix the flat container by deactivating auto scaling. That doesn't look right. Adjust the part to fit the container and position it properly. Apart from creating an object you can do all sort of things, you just need to check the methods available for it. Don't forget to like the video if you find this useful. The red area is where the parts in the box will be. Adjust it accordingly. Hold ALT key while dragging to move it up or down. Make it fit the box. Hold the mouse wheel to move around. That looks great. Change the Z dimension so the parts will stack in two rows. Now for the fun part. Create a method and call it init. This method will be called when you start the simulation. First we spawn a box on the store. This is very easy. What we want to create. The object from user objects, my container. What we do with this object? We create it. Where we create it? On the store. Let's check it out. To fill the box with parts we need a loop. The loop will run as long as the box is not full. To access the box we will use the store's property, cont. Cont is any object contained by the store. While the box is not full, a part will be created inside it. Easy PC. Please consider liking the video if you find it useful. Thank you for watching.